Patients often ask me how we can confirm if a spinal fusion surgery has healed or not. Well, today I'm going to show you an interesting case uh, which will answer that question. This is a patient who was having severe low back pain radiating into the legs all the way down to the foot. An MRI of the lumbar spine showed that the patient had severe spinal stenosis between L4 and L5. Because non-surgical treatment was not successful for this patient, they wanted to proceed with surgery. So I did an uncomplicated L4, L5 laminectomy infusion. Uh, the patient did really well, and all of the pain, numbness, tingling resolved completely. Because the patient had a physically demanding job, they wanted to find out if the fusion had healed or not. So they wanted to confirm that the fusion was healed before returning back to work. To confirm the surgery had healed, I ordered a special scan called a CT scan. The CT scan is a very important tool for a spine surgeon, and today I want to show you what a healed spinal fusion looks like. Uh, but before we look at a CT scan, let's quickly review some of the basic anatomy of the lumbar spine or the lower back. So this is a side view of the lower back or the lumbar spine, and I have numbered these vertebrae for you. This is the L3 bone, L4, L5, and S1 vertebrae. Between the bones, you have the discs. So this is the disc between L3-4, L4-5, L5-S1. Behind the bones and the disc is an opening at each level called the foramen. You can think of it like an exit ramp from where the nerve comes out. So this is the L3 nerve, L4 nerve, L5 nerve, and so on. Now I'm going to turn the spine a little bit so you can see the spine from the back. So this is the oblique view. What you can see here is that between the L3 and L4 bones, there's a small joint called the facet joint. The facet joint is a very important structure, and I will tell you why in a second. So this is the L3, L4 facet, the L4, L5 facet, and L5, S1 facet joint. When we are doing a fusion surgery, we are trying to combine the L4 and L5 bones together, and we're trying to get the L4, 5 facet to fuse or weld together. So let's see what that looks like on a CT scan. So this is what a CT scan looks like. We're going to get back to the cross-section view in a second, but first let's start with the side view. What I'm doing over here is I'm outlining the parts of the L3 and L4 bone which form the L3, L4 facet joint, which I'm outlining right over here. Similarly, I'm going to outline the parts of the L5 and the S1 bones which together form the L5, S1 facet joints. Now the question is, and you might be wondering this, what happened to the joint between L4 and L5? That's actually a really good question. Let me show you why you can't see that facet joint. The reason is because as a result of the surgery, the L4 and the L5 bones have welded to each other. And as a result, the joint between them no longer exists because it has become a bony joint, meaning it has fused solidly. So this is an excellent example of a successful L4, L5 fusion. Now we're going to go to the cross-section view. The cross-section view gives you a little bit of uh, added information. So we're working our way down L3, and we're going to get to the L3, L4 facet joint. So you have a facet joint on the right side, which I'm outlining, and this one is on the left side. And again, I'm going to circle it for you on the side view. When we keep going down, you can see that the L4 pedicle screws are in an excellent position. They are far away from the nerves. And the arrows over here show you where we put the bone graft at the time of surgery. If you keep going further, you can see the L5 pedicle screws. Now, interestingly, you don't see an L4, L5 facet joint over here. And again, the reason is because the L4, L5 facet joint has successfully fused. Finally, I'm going to show you a different view. This is a front view of the spine. In the yellow, I've outlined the L3, L4 facets, and in the pink, I've outlined the L5, S1 facets. The L4, L5 facets used to be right over here, but you can see that that has become completely solidly fused. So this is an excellent example of a complete fusion between L4 and L5. This patient did really well after surgery, went back to a very physical job without any problems. So this is an example of a solid fusion where the patient did extremely well 
and the L4, L5 fusion healed very successfully. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, please feel free to share and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to share in the comments below. Thank you.